Hello everyone, myself Dr. Suresh, Professor of Biochemistry and in this video we will be talking about the role of liver in fat metabolism. So we are all aware liver is the unique organ which has diverse functions and one among diverse functions is balancing the fat molecules in the synthesis as well as in utilization and also transportation. So what are all the key features of liver in the fat metabolism such as secretion of bile salts we are all aware bile salts require for emulsification of fats so without bile salts the food that are of fatty acids cannot be digested properly so hence they cannot be absorbed so bile acids released by liver so they are required for emulsification of fats next is Synthesis, fatty acid synthesis, triacylglycerol synthesis and phospholipid making in liver. Oxidation of fatty acids for energy production and production of lipoproteins. We know lipoproteins, chylomicron, VLDL, LDL, HDL, all these are required for uh, lipid transportation across the body. And for production of ketone bodies, they are emergency fuel to the brain which exclusively is synthesized in the liver and they will be transported to the brain in case of emergency or in like in prolonged fasting conditions and other diseases like uncontrolled diabetes mellitus so their liver come to action and synthesis of excretion of cholesterol so though you are not taking cholesterol from outside cholesterol can be synthesized by the liver and it can be transported to other parts fatty liver so these many functions regarding the fat metabolism associated with the liver so if there is an imbalance in case of lipid metabolism associated to liver can cause a malicious condition that is fatty liver and also there are term called lipotropic factors okay the factors which prevent fatty liver okay to this also we'll discuss first we'll see what is fatty liver so fatty liver means everyone will think fatty liver is nothing but accumulation of unmetabolized fat especially triacylglycerols because there are different types of lipids exist in our body but particularly if triacylglyceroids are accumulating the liver cells they lead to a condition fatty liver okay the balance between the factors causing fat deposition in liver versus factors causing removal of fat from liver determines the outcome so the factors or the compounds which remove the fat or TAC clearance from the liver known as lipotropic factors hence lipotropic factors are good and they prevent fatty liver so first we'll see causes of fatty liver so mainly causes of fatty deposition in liver mobilization of fatty acids from adipose tissue and more synthesis of fatty acids from glucose in the liver reduced removal of fat from liver if the what is the main lipoprotein that involved in transportation of TAG from liver to other parts that is VLDL if there is any uh, abnormality in making of VLDL if VLDL is not synthesized properly so the lipoprotein which cannot carry TAG so hence the accumulation of TAG in the liver so toxic injury to liver okay on secretion of VLDL needs synthesis of ApoB100 and ApoC decreased oxidation of fat by hepatic cells and increase in factors increase in factors 1 and 2 or decrease in factors 3 and 4 will cause excessive accumulation leading to fatty liver so that means factors 1 and 2 as i mentioned mobilization of uh, fatty acids from adipose tissue liver more sense of fatty acid from glucose and decrease factors like uh, if uh, there is secretion decrease in secretion of VLDL okay and decrease oxidation of fat by hepatic cells these two leads to fatty liver so causes of fatty liver in a diagrammatic representation if you see more free fatty acid flow to liver and uh, the triacylglycerols which are produced in liver has to supply to peripheral tissue okay so via VLDL so liver is the main center organ to maintain TAG pool okay so it also involves in oxidation so if any imbalance in one of these steps leads to accumulation of TAG in liver 
causing fatty liver so deposition of triacylglycerols in liver leads to fatty liver so excessive mobilization that we have already discussed the capacity of liver to take up fatty acids from blood far exceeds capacity than ex excretion of VL that means input always supposed to be equal to output so here input is mobilization of fatty acids from adipose tissues to liver and output is mobilization of PAG from liver to peripheral tissue via VLDL so it has to be always balanced if excess of intake and then decrease in output obviously leads to imbalance and accumulation of such substances inside the liver causing especially TAG causing fatty liver. So fatty liver can occur in diabetes mellitus and starvation because in case of uh, diabetes mellitus what is happening as there is no glucose so glucagon insulin will not be there so glucagon uh, mobilizes in case of diabetes glucagon mobilizes TAG from adipose tissue and hormone sensitive lipase uh, degrades the TAG into free fatty acids more free fatty acid flow in circulation reaches to liver so more synthesis of TAG and hence causing the accumulation of TAG in liver so in diabetes mellitus and starvation more uh, breaking down of TAG leads to free flow of yeah, free fatty acids to liver and making of TAG leads to fatty liver next excess calorie intake excess calories either in the form of carbohydrate or as fats or deposed as fat hence obesity may be accompanied by fatty liver toxic injury in toxic injury to liver due to poisoning by compounds like carbon tetrachloride ccl4 and arsenic lead etc that means hence liver is not only for sensing uh, components it is also a detox organ so whatever the in case of uh, toxic uh, injury so liver cells stop working so there is no production of VLDL. So there is no outgoing of TAG from the liver. In protein calorie malnutrition, amino acids required to synthesize apoproteins which may be lacking. Hepatitis B which is a viral uh, I mean, infection which uh, attacks the liver cells. So hence the deprive of hepatic cells leading to less in concentration of VLDL. So accumulation of TAG in the liver. Alcoholism, it is also another one of the most common cause of fatty liver uh, and uh, liver cirrhosis in India. Alcohol is oxidized to acetaldehyde. This reaction produces increased quantities of NADH which converts oxalic state to malate. As availability of oxalic state is reduced, the oxidation of acetyl-CoA through citric acid cycle is reduced. So fatty acid accumulated in, uh, and which will be converted to TAG which got deposited in the liver. Non-alcoholic fatty liver diseases and non-alcoholic steato hepatitis okay so know the difference high fat diet and uncontrolled diabetes mellitus are the most common cause of uh, NAFLD and NASH that means non-alcoholic fatty liver diseases and non-alcoholic steato hepatitis okay fat accumulates in the hepatocytes as it progress inflammatory reaction occurs which is then termed as non-alcoholic steato hepatitis so how the fatty liver leads to cirrhosis so fat molecules as they infiltrate to cytoplasm of the liver cells so they are seen as fat droplets which are matched together so that most of the cytoplasm becomes laden with fat so the nucleus is pushed to the side of the cell nucleus further disintegrated carrier excess and ultimately hepatic cell is lysed. so in fatty liver carrier excess can be seen that means nucleus will be pushed aside of the cell actually nucleus will be in the center of the cell so as a healing process fibrous tissue is laid down causing fibrosis of liver otherwise known as cirrhosis. Liver function test will show abnormal values of lipids. Lipotropic factors. So that's what we have already learned in the beginning of the video that lipotropic factors which removes or clearance the or clear the TAG from the liver. So that means the factors which required for normal mobilization of fat from the liver. So these are very important in preventing fatty liver. So the deficiency of the factors result in fatty liver. That means our food has to be in rich of lipotropic factors. So what are examples we can give for lipotropic factors? So choline. So choline we have learnt in classification of lipids and complex lipids, phospholipids like lecithin. Okay. So lecithin and methionine they help in synthesis of apoproteins and choline formation. The deficiency of methyl groups for carnitine synthesis may also hinder fatty acid oxidation vitamin e and selenium they are good for antioxidants again they are also acting as lipotropic factors omega-3 fatty acids in market you might have seen as along with the essential fatty acids they say like uh, brands they omega-4 omega-3 so omega-3 fatty acids are the fatty acids 
which acting as a lipotropic factors. So they have a protective role against the fatty liver. So that's all about the metabolism of Trigy and the fatty liver lipotropic factors. Thanks for watching. Thank you.